Virginia, and Randy Bellows. Kathy Cahoe, and it says, the charges against Mr. Pitts, if proven, mean that he has committed one of the most serious violations of law, betrayal of his country's national security, and violated the, bed violated the bedrock principles upon which the FBI is founded and to which every FBI employee swears an oath. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Louis Free, the FBI director. And uh, let me just introduce to you the Attorney General of the United States, Janet Reno, on my left. Internal counterintelligence officer. Well, I During his career, Mr. Pitts had access to highly classified information and investigations. As the government's court filing against him makes clear, the success of the false flag operation leaves no doubt about the continuing threat to the national security that this defendant posed. For the last 16 months. Nothing was sacred to Pitts. He was willing to betray his country, his agency, and his fellow agents. During the false flag operation, Pitts gave the undercover agents posing as SVRR officers sensitive and classified documents relating to the national defense, personal, medical, and family information about fellow FBI special agents who might be vulnerable to recruitment. According to Pitts, all Today's arrest of Mr. Pitts represents the apprehension and termination of a significant threat to our national security.